The details for the narrative of this short video come from Alma chapter 2, where Alma gives his first-hand account of the Battle of Zarahemla in the year 87 BC. The details for the terrain of the story come from Robert E. Lee's September 1837 survey of the Des Moines Rapids. The joining together of story and place is important for the foundation of a truthful account. Truth only becomes stronger when the events are brought together with actual place and time. The analysis has three sources. First, there is the text that Alma wrote about a battle that occurred in the Western Hemisphere 2,170 years ago. Alma gives more information about the Battle of Zarahemla than we have for any other battle in ancient America. Alma gives an account of forces, movements, places, and strategies for a battle that took place in a small area of 8 miles by 8 miles and in the tight framework of 48 hours. The River Sidon plays an important part in the details of the battle. Armies crossed a large river and they fought on the east and west banks of that large river. Alma gives a terrain for the movement of troops. The battle starts in the morning on the hill Omnihu. By the afternoon of the first day, the armies were off the hill and were fighting in the valley of Gideon. By nightfall, Alma's army pitched tents on the east banks of the river Sidon in a place where the valley of Gideon ends. The purpose of this video is to show how Robert E. Lee's 1837 survey connects to the terrain of Alma's account of the first day of the Battle of Zarahemla. The Louisiana Purchase had 530 million acres. This was the largest land purchase in the history of the world. Robert E. Lee's 1837 Des Moines Rapids survey was by far the best survey ever made of the land that involved the Louisiana Purchase. His, his survey took <clears throat> more than 100 men working three years to finish. The survey was very accurate with tens of thousands of details concerning the Mississippi's water depths going down the rapids. The purpose of this survey was to determine if there was a suitable channel that boats could navigate on the Mississippi River as they went over the Des Moines Rapids. The survey measured tens of thousands of soundings over the entire surface area of the rapids. The river's width at the rapids averaged 5,200 feet. The elevation of the land surface fell 22 feet over 11 miles of rolling waters. The rapids had a total surface area of about 7,000 acres. This was a big project that required the careful attention of one of the United States Army's best officers. Robert E. Lee spent as much time surveying the Des Moines Rapids as he would later in his life spend leading the Army of Northern Virginia. The original survey has a place of honor in the United States National Archives. The details of the full survey are available on the Library of Congress's website. A careful examination of the survey shows that there is one place where it would have been possible to walk 5,200 feet across the Mississippi River. A closer examination of the survey show that from the hill Omnihu, it is possible for large armies to fight and to walk the same day five miles to that spot where the Valley of Gideon ends on the west bank of the Sidon River. There is no other place in the world where the details of the Battle of Zarahemla so perfectly are in alignment with the details of the terrain for the Valley of Gideon and the details for the crossing of the River Sidon. With high confidence, we can walk that very same route and see as many as a hundred mounds and earthworks that are 2,000 years old. By comparing and analyzing the text of Alma II to the lay of the land of a modern-day map and to the water depths from an 1837 survey of Robert E. Lee, it becomes clear that the city of Zarahemla 2,000 years ago was in the very spot that Joseph Smith revealed to the saints 176 years ago. Let's 
mark the spot where Alma's army marched across the riverside. This spot is now another spot for bringing the geography of the Book of Mormon back to its original setting. For nearly 200 years, anyone who was interested could have found the location of the Hill Cumorah by reading the original accounts that Moroni gave to Joseph Smith. Now we can put another pin on the map. With two pins now on the map, it will become easy to fill in the puzzle. At last, we are free from the needless speculations of scholars and educators who, after decades of work, have only agreed on a fantasy map. Just like the Bible, the Book of Mormon has real history and real geography. Let's now take the tools of modern science to fill in the blanks in those areas that are in the immediate vicinity of Zarahemla. We can use magnetic surveys to locate ancient fires. The city of Zarahemla had tens of thousands of fires. When we find a high frequency of fire pits in the ground, we will then know we are over the streets of Zarahemla. Let's use the incredible tools of research that are available for underwater. Every ancient warrior had at least 40 pounds of armor and weapons. Many of these warriors dropped some of these things in the water as they walked 5,200 feet across the rapids of the river Sidon. There are the earthworks and burial mounds on the hill Omnihu and in the valley of Gideon. Let's revisit these sites to at least map out their exact positions. Is it not marvelous that Joseph Smith's burial place is at a place where ancient people living more than 2,000 years ago are buried? God has preserved these places as a means of giving testimony for the Book of Mormon. We do not need to go any further looking around the jungles of Mesoamerica for Zarahemla. The scholars have looked for more than a hundred years. They had their chance. They have found nothing. Ask a group of them, where is Zarahemla? They will give you at least two strong opinions and many possible locations. The same Variable answers are also given for the hill Camorra. Let's come to the unity of the faith by having one hill and one city. With these spots now on a modern map, we can begin to identify more than 500 geographical sites that are mentioned in the Book of Mormon.